What's up guys? This is Brent with 247parts.com and we are going to be installing a beacon light kit onto this John Deere Z9. Now, first thing that we need to do is install the beacon light actually on to the mounting frame here. So what you're gonna have is these three little black bolts here that are going to use a metric number three Allen head wrench. And then you're gonna have the three nuts that go on the bottom of those and these are going to use an eight millimeter socket. So what we're going to do is just set this on top here it doesn't really matter which way we go because you are going to have your inlet for your plug going down through the bottom so we just want to line this up get those bolts put down and into place here just like so and we're going to flip this over and then go ahead and get those nuts started here on the bottom side just like that and then, then we can start to tighten these up all right, and then once we have that put together, now we're ready to go on the machine with our U-bolts and this set of nuts, which is going to take a 15 millimeter socket. All right, so when we're going on with those U-bolts, we're gonna wanna go on from the front side facing the rear, just like this. And then we will take our bracket here. We'll go ahead and set this on, get one side started, just like so. Go ahead and start our nuts on this one side. We're going to start our other U-bolt, same thing. That started into place. Just like that. Now, once you have that on, now what you want to do is just go ahead and center this up, get it where you'd like it. And then here's where our 15 millimeter socket is going to come into play. We just want to make sure that everything is snugged up there and now we are ready to jump into the wiring harness now on our wiring harness this is going to be the end that is going to drop down and go into our panel and our little white end here is what is going to clip up and into the bottom of our light so we're just going to reach up plug that in make sure it is seated where it can't pull out and now we can move down to the bottom side. So to get access to the control panel, first thing that we need to do is raise up the seat, get it up and out of the way. And then we're going to pull our wiring harness back, get it out of the way. Now, what we are doing here is trying to remove this panel. So what you're going to have are five bolts that we need to remove to get this panel loose. You're going to have two here, two on top. These are both going to take a T25 Torx head bit. And then we have one down here that is going to take a 10 millimeter socket to remove. So we'll start here by removing all of our screws here with that T25. And this is also where a magnet tray will come in very handy. And then our 10 millimeter bolt right here. Now, once you have those removed, you can simply pull back on this panel and be able to set it open to where we can see everything that we need to connect our wiring harness. Now, one thing I wanna point out is that you have two pop-outs right here that you can cut out on the top of this control panel. Now, in this video, I'm not gonna cut these out, but I am gonna show you that that switch will push down through one of these. So once you were to cut one of those two out, this is the switch here that you would pop down into place and have it sitting there. And then on your wiring harness side, your switch is going to mount into this connector. So we need to make sure, get that put into place right here and have that switch connected into place. Now, as far as how we are going to hook this up to our electrical system on the panel. What we're looking for is this connector right here. This is the one that we are going to hook into. So what you're gonna do is you're going to pop this tab off, pull back on this, take off the top here, and then you're going to look for the mating end, which is going to be this long connector here. We are gonna hook those together just like so. And then now you will have power to your switch, which would be mounted into the switch bank. Then once we have all this connected, we have our switches in hand. This wiring harness will simply come out of the corner here underneath the panel. 
and then now you will have that strobing light and it will look like this. Now, once you have that done and have your light tested, the last thing you need to do is go ahead and button up everything on your control panel, put those five bolts back in and you're good to go. And then lastly, what you're gonna have is this slack here from your wiring harness and in the kit is going to be a set of zip ties here where you can safely zip tie this up to the frame and down and around on your ROPS to make sure that it is out of the way and not getting in anything here on your mower. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope that you liked this video. If you did, we just ask that you would hit that like button and subscribe. Also, if you are wanting this part for your mower, make sure to check us out at 247parts.com. The part number to this is going to be BUC 11406. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to go buy your parts right here and subscribe right here.